morning, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. This hot ride right, right here, this is Trudy. I see you've met Trudy this amazing hot rod right here you're probably wondering what is trudy trudy is a 1993 subaru sandbar this subaru sandbar comes in two models they have a minivan version like the mystery machine on scooby-doo and they have this one this is a utility pickup truck version for all you heavy haulers out there your bed has two options you have a pickup bed right here and you can also turn it into a flatbed Oh, hey y'all. I was just enjoying my Subaru sandbar. So now that the bed's down, it gives us access to this flatbed right here. And right below this, this is the amazing freedom packing horsepower plant it has. It has a whopping 41 horsepower and a mind blowing 39 foot pounds of torque. So all you guys out there, watch out. This thing is hot. The spec sheet says this bad boy right here can handle 1300 pounds in the bed. I'm not really buying that one, but it's worth giving it a try. We're gonna test this 1300 pound payload capacity they have. All right, we're sitting at, uh, let's call it 24 and a half. It's loaded up with 1300 pounds of people. All right, Kevin, do a head count. How many bodies One, are two, in three, the truck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven 11 people in here. I'm sure it's 1300-ish. <laughs> what does that say now, about 23? Oh, it's more like 20, 22 and three quarters well it says it can do it let's load up let's do a parade <laughs> i can't wait to show you guys the awesome interior of this hot rod welcome to the interior of the hot rod you might notice all the things for driving aren't on this side of the truck they're on that side that's because this thing came from overseas so this thing is just like a real car it's just a lot smaller see we have a steering wheel we have a gear shifter, we have a mercy brake, we have a radio, we have HVAC, and we have this fancy speedometer that says 140 kilometers an hour. I don't know about that, I've had it up to 37 miles an hour and I think that's all she's got. But the good news is, she's got such an impressive motor, she gets 44 miles to the gallon. Safety first. I mean, I'm sure the seatbelt's good for it, right? <laughs> Let's see what this baby's got. Y'all have already seen how impressive she is, but it's actually a lot more difficult to drive than you would think because we're not used to things on the right-hand side of the road or shifting with your left hand. So forgive me if I grind them till I find them. <laughs> Woo! Hey, that trail of dust. <laughs> Trudy's got it going on. Uh-oh, we're at 35 kilometers an hour. might be speeding on this road. <laughs> but yo, once you get going, she's just like driving a regular car. You're just on the wrong side of the road and everything's with the wrong hands. <laughs> but the feet are the same. Clutch is also a little touchy. It's gonna take some getting used to. You can just feel the freedom when you touch the gas pedal and when you floor it and accelerate through the curves and the hills out here the wind blowing through my hair it's it's probably the greatest car i've ever driven and that says a lot because kevin used to have a ford lightning that had over 700 horsepower now now i'll trade that 700 any day of the week for this 41 right here <laughs> uh, it's really the 39 foot pounds of torque that really throw you in the back of your seat <laughs> you know the, the gas mileage is what tops it off I could drive this thing for like 200 miles between Phillips. Yeah. Because it holds like three gallons. I will say it rides pretty smooth to be such a low car. Like it's not super bumpy, I don't think. Well, wait until you drive. <laughs> a lot going on over here. Well, it's going to be jerky. We're going to be doing a lot of this. It's also <laughs> super weird driving a car that the tires that you turn with are below us right now. Oh, yeah. So like when I turn, it's like a forklift. It turns below me. <laughs> so like, it's, it's weird. 
Look at that guy. That guy was, he was like, man, I need I to get me I a Trudy. He's like, hey, hey, where you get one of those? Why are we showing you this weird little car called Trudy? Well, it's because everybody always says we should get a toy. And we do want a toy for our toy hauler. But everybody has golf carts. You know what they don't have? They don't have a Trudy. How cool would it be to show up at a campground, lower that toy hauler door, and out comes this hot rod right here. I mean, we would be the, we would be the talk of the campground. By the end of the day. We would be the talk of the campground. <laughs> by the end of the day, I will have met every man in that campground because they're going to come talk about it. What's Trudy? Can I go for a ride? And where do I get one? And I'll be like, I have all those answers. Can you sit down for a minute? And we'll talk about it. Hey, y'all. What y'all doing over there? Y'all enjoying the ride? Your cameraman needs some work. Well, I mean, everything's backwards. I look the wrong way, too. I'm not, I'm not used to looking left to see the rearview mirror. Hey, y'all! Hey, your mama and them. You know, besides being the most awesomest vehicle you've ever seen, I found one thing that Trudy is not great at. It's hills. Check out this hill right here. I know the camera makes that look as flat as possible, but that hill is huge, and I'm going to show you how much Trudy struggles. She's got all the gas mileage in the world, but those 39 foot pounds of torque, it's all she's got to get up that hill. We have to get a big running start, and hopefully we don't run out of steam for the top of the hill. Ready? Look, you see that gear shift? Oh, here we go, getting all the power. Oh, we missed a gear. Oh, you know what? <laughs> We're never gonna make it now. Oh, oops. We will never make that hill. This is about as fast as she'll go up that hill, by the way, too. Sorry, I don't wanna disappoint y'all on the first time. Take two, this time I'll try to find all the gears, that way we can make it to the top of the hill. One of those things, it's weird shifting with your left hand. We got second, woo! Feel the speed, third, woo! And this is going downhill, guys. Hold on, here he comes. Can you see him way down that hill? Here we go, we hit the downshift already. Now we're back in second. Uh oh, he's downshifting. Oh, here we go. We had to go to first. Severely downshifting. I think he's in first. See, we had a rolling start and we still couldn't make it. Feel the torque. You can do it. Well, she made it. it takes all she's got, but she can make it to the top of the hill. Going down's a lot more fun though. She barely made it. Were you in first coming up? I was, you can smell it I too. I can hear it. <laughs> you can smell her. She's like, whoa, whoa, only so many hills a day. It doesn't like to go in reverse you, at all. You're a little grindy on those gears. Reverse, you have to be a complete stop. No going forward. <laughs> you wanna see how awesome it is going downhill? Let's see you go. I think I'll do Trudy a solid and go walk down this big hill. That way she doesn't have to come back up here. Kevin is having way too much fun with old Trudy. I really do envision one of these in our future. Just don't know how it's gonna work with kids because unless we're comfortable putting them in the back or myself in the back, it doesn't really fit all of us. He tells me they make a four seater or the van version. We might have to check into that. Here she comes. <laughs> hey girl, you going my way? You want to ride? If I get this baby fueled up, we can go wherever you want. I actually want to drive. Oh, well, we can do I'm, that too. I'm not very good driving a stick though, and especially on the left hand side. Well, you want to drive it? Because if we get it, you're going to have to know how to drive it. Should I try? So before Alicia drives, I want y'all to see how epic this downhill racing is. It gets up to almost 60 kilometers an hour, and that's with the clutch push in. <laughs> Trudy right there. I feel like we should have been like 
like the kids. Hands up for the <laughs> ride. <laughs> and for all you guys who really care about how sharp your truck turns, this thing's got it. It can turn on itself. Oh man, I really do enjoy driving this. This is the coolest thing ever. Are you excited? <laughs> Tell us real quick, when's the last time you drove a stick? Um, probably when my parents bought me one in high school and thought that was gonna work out well. I'll let Phil tell y'all the story one day of how that turned out. Let's just say I didn't keep the car with the stick. <laughs> All right, so she hasn't driven a stick in a long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And now we're gonna drive a stick that's on the wrong side of the road and it's touchy. So, pro tips. The clutch is very, very touchy. And shifting gears is also touchy. Like you can't, it's not like driving a, a modern sports car. You have to let it want to go in the gear. Like you're not gonna make it go, I mean you can. You've heard what happens when you make it go in there. But you drive it like it's an old car that just needs a little of attention but don't be aggressive because i've driven an old car before <laughs> also question one which one's the clutch oh gosh you don't know which one the clutch is i don't it's still oh man are we gonna do this for real <laughs> should we have done this off camera first <laughs> no this is real life all right so the clutch is the left one this? you know what you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah, let's buckle up, let's for, buckle safety. up for safety <laughs> <laughs> phil what happens next? You know, because you've been here. I, I can give you a preview. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Also, don't mind my dirty hand. He didn't clean up Trudy before he took me on a ride. <laughs> All of a sudden, the dirt's the biggest problem okay. of the moment. Um, should so, I scoot the seat forward a little bit? Or? It'll go backwards, it's broken. Oh. It, it slides up and down. Okay, so this is clutch. Yep, then okay. brake, then gas. Brake, gas? Uh -huh. oh. Okay, so what am I doing? <laughs> Are you, you seriously don't know? No, I seriously don't know. I was joking when I thought this would be funny. I didn't know I was going to teach oh, you today. Oh, this is going to be funny. Oh, okay. You might attempt to teach me, but... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and help you. I'm going to find first gear for you. Push the clutch in. All the way. All right. Short. Yep. Now, give it a little gas and let off the clutch a little bit. Looks like a little gas, like this? Yeah, just enough after you start hearing and it. And let off all the way on this? We'll let off slowly. Yeah, let off the clutch same time oh. you give it gas. Oh, okay. So I got to start over. No, no, you don't have to start over. It's a hot rod. You can rev it as much as you want. Oh, my bad. Ooh, ooh. That's actually my fault. I left the mercy brake oh, on. Okay. All also, right. we don't have headrests, so we've <laughs> got to be careful on this. All right. So start it up again. Clutch in. Clutch in. All right. Same thing. Now Why you'll roll because the mercy brakes off. If you're on a hill, you oh, roll. Oh, that's when you had to keep your feet on it. Ooh. Okay. You cannot hold the brake and the clutch and let oh, off. I was just trying to get my foot <laughs> on the clutch again. Baby. Push the clutch in. All right. Do I take my foot off the glass yep. whenever I let the clutch in? You can or you can't. It's your probably should, choice. Probably should look at the road. It's a hot rod and you can do what you want. How All much? All right, push the clutch in. How do you know? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to make it do wheelies. <laughs> how do you know how much to push the gas in? Uh, well, your, it's your speed. How fast you're going. Like right now, you're starting to run out of gear, so push the clutch in. All right. Take my foot all the way off the gas every time. Is that? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. You can, you can not take it off at all. I can't believe I did that on the first try. Now I have no idea what to do when we stop, so please don't let me wreck. Okay, well, if you push the clutch in, you're gonna roll downhill uncontrollably. What about the brake? Well, I'll push you, the, brake. the brakes. The brakes. If you ever push the clutch in, you push the brake in. And if you freak out, I'm pulling this emergency brake right here. All right, so right now, push the clutch in. We're going down to gear. All right. It's really easy that I'm doing half the shit. I know. For you. I'm going to try that part next, but let me get used to this first. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I'm going a whopping 35 kilometers. Translate that for me. I don't know. It's don't not know bad. Either. I want to go slower. Okay. Push the brake. Yeah. And the clutch. You can do both. You can leave the clutch out and just hit the brake. Okay. Oh, are you sorry. trying to come to a stop? Yeah. I don't want to go down this hill. <laughs> There's a hill and a curve. I'm scared. <laughs> You're gonna have to face your fears. So what do I do? So right now you can just let off the brake and let it roll down the hill. And if keep you, the clutch in? Yeah. Why do you have to keep the clutch in? Because if you let go, you drive. Like right now you can let go of the clutch, but now you have nothing engaged. Oh. So like you you were basically free rolling. So okay. leave we're the gonna... clutch leave the clutch in. Oh, okay. All right. Now let off the clutch. And now the motor oh. slows you down instead of the brakes. 
So you leave it in a lower gear, you let the gear control the speed. It's like our Ford going down those big hills with the RV attached. Okay. So now, now you floor it. The clutch too? Well, you're floored. Like, drive like you're driving. No, 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 baby girl. Oh. You gotta let you were driving, so the clutch has to come out. Oh. Forgot. <laughs> All right. Now, try to shift. You're go in down. second. No, no, you're in second. So, so go, go up, up and go to up the right. And go up and to the right a little bit. I think I went fifth. No, you're not in any gear right now. There you go. Oh, baby. Oh, man. All right, you put it back in second because this what is a hill. Clutch? Yeah, clutch, brake, and second. <laughs> All right, now let it go down the hill. Let it go down the hill. Hold on, I gotta get my heart right. <laughs> Wait. I'm just focused on this hill. Is it weird driving where it's turning below you? Like. You know why I think I'm not having as much trouble? Because I never really learned. Okay, well here's a problem. Okay, we gotta go Floor it, then. floor it. Because I don't want to teach you the trick of how to take off on a hill with a clutch. Let's see. Oh wait, wrong gear. You're already, you're already in that gear. How many gears do I have? You have to go to third. You're already in second. Third is up and over. Now that's, that's fit. Oh, shoot. There you go. Uh, thanks for the assist. <laughs> <laughs> now watch this, watch this turn right here. These, these downward turns can get a little tricky because I feel like Trudy's top heavy. Down and Trudy, can yeah, I you can. Can with the brake on? Uh, well, the brake doesn't matter. It's the clutch that matters. The brake is there for you to control speed. <laughs> I think it's not as hard for me because I never really learned on a real one what to do. So like, it's okay shifting over here. All right, so here's our thing. Here's the big hill, which I'm not sure you're ready for this, but you're in the right gear. So floor it the whole way. Do not ever let off the gas. And if things get weird, we'll just stop. Okay. Look at this hill. Look at this hill. There's no traffic, it's dead end. Come on, Trudy! I mean, it's floored. <laughs> yeah. Woo! All right. The road turns, by the way. Oh. Keep oh, going. Keep sorry. going. I just didn't want you oh, to be. Yeah, I, I didn't want you to be so blinded by the uh, sun. You were like, "This is awesome!" and run right into that tree. Where to? This right is... here. Oh yeah. This is the car show place. This is where we started the video. Oh, snap. I drove a standard on the wrong side of the road. I mean, not road. Now, how do you stop us? Shoot. I don't know. All right. I don't know. <laughs> Push everything in. <laughs> now what? Are we in neutral? How am I supposed to know? If it's not in the gear. How do I know if it's in a gear? Well, a gear is always forward or back. Neutral is in the middle. If it does that, it's in neutral. I'm that in means, neutral. That means you can let off the clutch and we won't move. Now watch this. If you let off the brake, we're going to roll. Well, we're not on a hill. But so okay. what you do is. Oh, you have to use that. Well, oh, yeah, so because. there's no park. That is park. Oh, okay. There's no, no park. No park on here. No, where's the P? <laughs> where's my P? <laughs> Did you just ask where the park button was on a standard? Sorry for all you <laughs> car people out there. I try. <laughs> that was fun. Are y'all impressed? I mean, I'm super impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I need a mullet so bad right now. <laughs> Like I was saying, I'm super impressed that I even made it go. I didn't make it go quite like you <laughs> just now, but I made it go. So I'm happy with myself. This was fun. I really want one of these. <laughs> Let's go check out his donut marks. Aw, I don't think you're going to be able to see them because of the shadows. Right here. Right there. <laughs> oh. Too fun, too fun. We really do need one of these. This is way more fun than a golf cart. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Should we get one? Should we get this one? I'm sure it's not for sale, but I'm sure if I asked enough, she might let me buy it from her. And Julie, you should sell this to me. If you watch our videos, you should definitely call me by now and sell this to me, because I'll come get it. I'll bring it back to Texas. I found a website last night when I was looking up the specs on this thing. They have an aftermarket. You can boost this thing from 41 horsepower to 82, just like that. And then imagine the donuts you could do. By the way, still sell it to me even though you saw the donuts and didn't know I was doing that. I'm sorry. Just wanted to see if it would do it. You know, there's only one thing left to do. We need to measure it to see if it'll actually fit in the toy hauler. Come on. Come here. Jump up, jump up. Come on. Come on. Come Good on. Job, Good boy. He needs an assist. Oh, you got it. Oh man, buddy. Uh, 
What are you thinking about your new truck? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Mama got out, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? It's 11 foot. So we should have two foot to spare. Oh man, we might can still use our potty back there. Oh yeah, it's less than five foot wide. And I know we got this one, because I can walk underneath the kid's bed, and I'm taller than it. So, even with our headache rack, we're still exactly six foot tall. Oh man, looks like a perfect fit. That means we have room for lights on the headache rack from that place I saw. <laughs> so before we get excited about getting a Trudy, we might want to make sure she will actually fit in the RV. So we gotta put the ramp door down, but we've never actually put it down into a ramp before. So this is the first time for us. So you leave those out? No, we have to take them off. So like you've never seen this before, have you? No. So we have to undo these clips and it goes down as a ramp. We've only ever used the patio. By the way, so in this position, it says the door is good for 1,500 pounds on it. Yeah. So with the ramps like this, it's good for 1,500 pounds. In the ramp position, it's good for 3,000 pounds. I just checked Trudy. She's about 1,500, 1,600. So ah, should be good for the ramp. As long as Green Design didn't give us one of those ramps that just falls oh. off. Mm, I wouldn't hold your breath. Ready? Look, we took the cables off and it's still up. Okay. There we go. Okay. Do, do, do. That's gonna be a little steep for Trudy. She couldn't handle that That's hill. That's what I was just thinking. Like this is, oh, but I guess you would try to be on flatter ground. We have to come in hot. <laughs> That's gonna be a little sketchy with Trudy's clutch. We might be making our garage a little bigger when we get done. But right now we know because I'm taller than Trudy that we should fit here. Yep. There is this right here, but see. You don't have to keep her center. <laughs> yeah, I'm still good. So we know height wise she's good, and we know width wise she's probably good too. But we have furniture, so will you be my assistant? Yes, I will. We only need five feet and mm -hmm. we have five and a half. Awesome. So she's gonna take up the whole space, but she's good. Here is the problem. Go hold this at the back door. Here, why don't you hold this? Okay. At the ramp? Yeah, at the where the door would be. Okay. Because we need to be able to close it. So we need 11 feet here and we have it, but it's gonna be very tight. Likely this is either gonna have to move or Trudy's gonna move it for us one time because we're coming in hot and trying to stop. <laughs> but. Trudy would fit. I'm just saying, if we are able to get a Trudy, I can find a home for all this. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Should we get a Trudy? Since we've drove Trudy, Alicia found they make a crew cab Trudy and they make the van. The crew cab, not sure it's gonna fit, but the van for sure would. So you guys let us know, should we get a Trudy? Anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We love you and we'll see you in the next one.